Hello my fellow fools, welcome to another fun, exciting, action-packed adventure, that award-winning show, because I say it is the Fitted Hat Fool. I'm the fool, the hats are fitted, and away we go. Today's topic is the Los Angeles Rams, who just won the Super Bowl, in case you hadn't heard about that. Now, I already talked about this Rams hat uh, the other day, or in an earlier episode, but there have been some modifications to the hat. Really, you ask? Well, let's deal with those modifications now. And as always, the bonus look at my bald head. Okay. Now, on the front of the hat, you see the Rams helmet and these uh, yellow and blue and white stripes. And it's uh, blue. And over here, it says New Era. You got the sweatband down there, 3930, flex fit, and whatnot. Now, here's the modification. It's the Super Bowl 56 patch over here. Now, I bought that patch online, and then uh, my beautiful wife sewed the patch on the hat for me. So here, as I said, you got the Rams uh, helmet. Uh, the earlier Rams horn, not the silly looking, artsy, fartsy, goofy, broken horn they got now. The Super Bowl 56 patch, the NFL shield back there, and the New Era logo. Now, see, because I'm an economical man, I don't like spending a lot of money on hats. I do make exceptions. Like when I was up in New York, I bought a Yankees 1950 World Series hat, 40 some bucks, but mostly I try to be cheap and get my hats at Ross. So I got this hat at Ross for $8.99. So let's round that to nine bucks. We'll ignore the tax. That patch was $6. So between the patch and the hat, 15 bucks. Now I've seen these commemorative Super Bowl hats, they're going for $49.99. Rounding that up, that's $50. Now between the hat and the patch, I'm only out 15 bucks. That's a third less money spent. So that's more money in my pocket. That's more straight cash homie in the bank. Uh, so, you know, now as, uh, as far as the Super Bowl went, it was an entertaining Super Bowl. Close games are exciting when um, you're not a fan of either team in the game. And uh, as you see by the tattoo on my arm, I'm a New York Jets fan. So I've never seen a Super Bowl in my lifetime. <clears throat> and a Super Bowl three occurred before my birth. Uh, so if I want to see the Jets win a Super Bowl, I gotta watch a DVD of it. <laughs> uh, maybe one day, but I don't know. Uh, you know, someone said, uh, you know, it could be the Jets, you know, in a couple of years they could be get to the Super Bowl. And, and that's possible. Uh, the problem is they don't know how to select a quarterback. Uh, and that's key. Joe Burrow is a good quarterback. Uh, I'm not too thrilled with Zach Wilson, Sam Darnold. Yeah. Uh, so the Jets have had a disastrous run of quarterbacks over the last... Uh, uh, pretty much their whole existence. Let's be honest, Joe Namath's stats are not that great. Uh, he's kind of dining off winning Super Bowl three and that appearance on the Brady Bunch, so let's not kill ourselves. But uh, I like the New York Jets, I like Joe Namath, then I like the Brady Bunch, so, uh, you know, Marsha, 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 there you go. Um, which all that has absolutely nothing to do with the hat. Well, although Joe Namath played for the Jets and he did play one year for the Rams, so, uh, that's right, Joe Namath was a Ram for one season. So, uh, uh, you know, I don't think he did much. And I think maybe Vince Ferragamo came in, I don't know. Um, but let's congratulate the Los Angeles Rams on winning their first Super Bowl. Now you might be saying, wait a minute, the Rams won a Super Bowl previously. Aha, uh -huh. that was the St. Louis Rams. So the Los Angeles Rams have won their first Super Bowl. So the Rams are one and one in the Super Bowl in their St. Louis incarnation. And they are, I believe, one and two in the Los Angeles incarnation in the Super Bowl. Yeah, so, uh, you know, it's, it's considered the same franchise. But, still, one was in St. Louis, the other was in Los Angeles. So, having said that, let's review the hat again. Okay. 
So as you said, there's the front, says that, there's the Rams helmet, and I like the stripes, it's a very nice look. It's blue all the way around. There's the Super Bowl 56 patch that my wife was uh, kind enough to sew on. And there's that NFL shield, and there's that New Era logo, and there's the 3930, and there's that NFL shield again, and the sweatband, and the underbill, and all that uh, good stuff. So, um, I also have a Cincinnati Bengals hat, then I got another Super Bowl 56 patch coming in the mail. So when that gets here, I'll have my wife sew that on the side of it for me. Well, I'll ask her, but I yell and force her to do these things, obviously. But she likes to do uh, sewing and crafts and creative stuff. And uh, I have impaired vision, so there's no telling what would happen if I tried to sew a patch on the side of a hat. I'd probably jab myself in the finger five or six times, and if I did get the thing on it, it'd be upside down or something ridiculous. Um, who knows? Uh, the fact that my eyes do look a little goofy today, I was actually just at the eye doctor. I had a couple of them. I have to get injections in my eye every uh, three or four months. So I got one in this eye and one in that eye. So that's the left eye and the right eye. Not to be confused with left eye of TLC, rest in peace. Um, you know. I did get to see TLC in concert, but uh, that was with two of them because Left Eye had long since passed away by then. And, and that was a damn shame. She was very young. That's, uh, what are you going to do? That's, uh, that just sucks. Um, so anyway, having got that all out of the way, <laughs> having got that out of the way and said all that, as always, thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button. Tell your friends, your enemies, and your loved ones to uh, click the subscribe button and ring and that notification bell so you'll know when there are new episodes of The Fitted Hat Fool. And also check out my other channel, William Penn's Train Station. That's apostrophe S uh, for all your train and fountain needs. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm the Fool. The hats are fitted. You're the viewer, and so long.